Right guys, I just wanted to um, start uh, a few videos with this. Um, basically, you'll see this at the start of the next probably a few videos. Um, but if you hadn't seen some of the videos before, then this may have been the start of those. Um, but basically, all I wanted to say was this: over the next sort of few weeks, um, I basically won't really be making videos. I basically pre-recorded a load because I I just don't have time. I kind of had the decision of do I just not make videos for like three weeks or do I make videos just so then I'm at least posting videos you know videos that you may want to see um, I will say now they probably won't be like the greatest videos ever some of them I really really like the replace room um, like I, th I think there are pretty pretty good videos I'll try and make sure I have you know a few of them um, in there like some some really really good digging out of camps and stuff um, in clam wars however um, I've basically I sort of recorded all these videos uh, pretty much the day before I'm leaving like to move out and all that um, which means they're kind of a bit rushed um, you know because I've had sort of bigger priorities than making YouTube videos and although I really do enjoy making YouTube videos um, it's something that I don't, I don't want it to completely just be like a, a chore to do however I did I did want to do videos, just they're, they're probably not going to be the highest quality if this video you're watching right now it may not be the greatest video you've ever seen um, if you see this at the start of each video I just wanted to say probably skip to about maybe like two minute mark and you will have got rid of this um, I'll try and put the point at which you skip in each video if you don't want to see all this um, but yeah I'll be back um, in a few weeks and start making some new videos Hopefully I've got some new video ideas on what I'm going to do um, to try and make some new types of videos. Um, just at the moment I need a bit of a break, um, but I did make sure I had enough replays to pretty much last a few weeks. Um, I'm lucky enough to have people that are willing to send me replays and I've got, I've got loads of them. So I'm going to try and record as many as I can and I've already recorded quite a few, um, just so then there's enough to pretty much um, last the next few weeks and to be honest I'll probably start recording them before the end of the few weeks but it just gives me a bit of a buffer if I don't get around to doing them so hopefully you enjoy the video that you're about to see whatever video it is um, and it will be about the three minute mark in the end for where to skip so thank you hopefully you stick around and hopefully you still enjoy my videos um, even the ones that are going on right now and also hopefully the ones um, that I do in the future Hello guys and welcome back. So today what I have for you is I have a tier 8 stronghold that I was sent by Muensi. Um, it's a stronghold of Raze vs OM and as you can see it's on Mountain Pass. So initially what we see about the setups is both teams have the same amount of lights. Um, so you know three lights. Uh, both teams have a scorpion, both teams have a patriot. Both teams have sort of 3 IS-3 slash IS-5 and the only difference is, is that 110s are being played instead of a 112 and a Chrysler really. So the setups are, well to be honest, pretty much about as equal as they get in Strongholds. Um, and pretty much what's going to happen at the start of this game is the lights are going to play really really aggressively down sort of on the Glacier Road. Um, and what they're going to do is they're pretty much just going to try and spot the corner. Now. I think the plan for um, for Rays here is just to kind of wait a little bit. Um, they want to see what's going on, where the enemy team are. They're playing very, very aggressively, aggressively with the lights. Maybe they're trying to hope that OM go aggressive really early. Don't see anything. Decide to continue pushing aggressively, and that the lights almost get there unspotted and are able to maybe just put three in the cap or something. Um, if not, maybe they're trying to say that they are there. And therefore, you know, the, the everyone should run back. Well, you know, they, maybe uh, OM think, oh yeah, we can just cap, or you know, we can run back to base, and then these guys get an opportunity to really do something. Now, I guess this is sort of just waiting for so stuff to happen. They've basically got across here unspotted so far. Um, they def they definitely won't be spotted. Maybe they're trying to say we're camping. Uh, please play aggressively against us, and then try and cap them. To be fair, that's actually a fair tactic. The problem is they need to make sure that they don't get spotted, which unfortunately they do. 
Um, this M4190 here kind of ruins the party. Um, however, they're pretty much going to pick him up for free. As you know, the I3 is in position to support. However, they've done managed to do 600 free damage anyway. So at this point, um, these guys, well, these guys here are starting to run back. They realise that maybe there's there's more guys there, and they should really try and defend the base rather than focus on attacking. Because to be honest, it's always better to defend your base rather than trying to cap the enemy base. Well, play aggressive on the enemy base in a lot of situations, just for the reason of um, you know you're making sure the game's safe, and that's why I'm basically trying to do here. They're trying to play a bit more defensively, and now, now Ray's realised. Well, let's let's just um, let's just try and play a little bit more aggressively back. Hopefully, we can maybe catch some guys on the run. Uh, and they're also pushing a couple of tanks in these areas here to basically get a crossfire with the light tanks. Now they're going to use the um, Arty Strike just on the IS-5. Um, hopefully, it does do a bit of damage. I'm not sure how much it does do. Actually, it hasn't really done much, but it's still done a little bit, and you know, hopefully, might damage that module or something. Um, however, they basically need to take the high ground here. So Ray's pretty much just take the high ground here, um, and these guys are just going to get a bit of a crossfire on the one tech. That was a bit unfortunate not to hit it. I'm pretty sure, even though I'm in free camera here, it probably was in third person anyway. Um, in fact, I'm not sure. But this shot, I'll see his view. Um, puts it into three, pretty much the front drive wheel. And then he's just going to drop down because he doesn't really want to take a shot from the ice ray up there. But he takes a shot from the 110, that's kind of fine, the 110's dead. Now, these two heavies need to kind of hold bridge, stop this IS-3 from pushing. The 110's in the, lo in the low ground here is kind of useless. And actually, rays have really, really nice positions at this point. Now, the reason why their positions are so favourable is just because they have the high ground in pretty much every position. Um, well, actually, I say that. They've actually got the same amount of high ground sort of thing, but... The high ground's more useful. The high ground here is extremely useful um, because this guy here can peek, get a crossfire from these two here. They can just sort of hold and chill and not die. Um, and, you know, uh, they, they can play very, very defensively. Now, as they play defensively, these guys can play aggressive. They've got the hit points to push. Um, this guy, well, the, the Scorpion G can basically one shot both, like, you know, any one of those two he wants. Unfortunately, the shot does the hit the M4190, I'm not sure if that's planned, um, but it makes sure he gets the kill on the M4190, and it means that there's only one left. And as he can take the shot, he can just go in, and he can finish off the 132. Now, they have completely the advantage here. The heavies are in position to stop these guys pushing up. If they try to push up, the size 3 gets a couple of shots. If they try to push over here to just get below the IS-3, this guy gets some shots. And if they try to push up completely and get past this guy, then this guy has side shots and this guy has front shots. So, they're not really getting out of that one. Um, you can see that actually the heavy's playing a bit more aggressive. They probably realise they can win the overmatch there. Um, I'm not sure really what the hit points were. Um, but they're doing it now because they know that they, they've kind of got the game in the bag here. Um, they know the game's pretty safe. Um, I'm, they can't really throw it from here. They've got all the map control. Um, also, the Ice 5 has a lot of hit points. And they can just slowly move in. Mercy's just going to put in the shot into the IS-5. And then it's basically tracking down this last IS-3. Now I'm looking this way for a reason. <laughs> um, they don't really realise it. They're going to look in this direction here. Like surely the IS-3 is either down the ice road or below here. Um, well that actually, I wouldn't really thought he was below there. But he actually does manage to push all the way around. Um, it's only because I remember seeing this right at the end of the game. While I skipped through this replay just to sort of get a general idea of what was going on and um yeah he managed to drive all the way around without getting spotted i suppose he literally must have just got around this corner just as these guys peaked and just as yeah he must have just got there just in time um and if i say just again then this replay is going to be horrific um but yeah they're just going to try and find an opportunity just to finish off this game i just said just man oh so good at this making my full-time job um, but yeah, they, they can just push into the cap, um, force this, if the size 3 wants to try and push out, then they can force him back, and yeah, they're just going to chill, they're just going to chill, mm. just when I think of a word that I keep on saying, it just bugs me even more because I realise how much I say it, it's not even bad, 
It's like, it's not armor or anything, which is usually the one that really annoys me, and I say it too much, but... This one's the one that really frustrates me. Uh, well, actually, it shouldn't really, because it's like a proper word. It's not It's not just a filler. But, I mean, it is a filler. I'm using it as a filler. But, yeah, they can just they can just cap. Uh, just. To win the game, um, without having to kill this guy, they can potentially cap. Yeah, and, well, they don't cap. They want to get their last kill. Um, but this was a really, really nice replay. Uh, their initial tactic, if it worked, if they hadn't sent a guy down down towards the 8 line, it probably would have worked, however, the thing is, to dig out a camp on this map, I feel as if you're always going to try and send something down the 8 line spot, and, you know, because you want, you want to get a bit of flanking, you want to sort of attack from two sides, and I think that's kind of why they did it, you know, they sort of want to get the guy to spot this area here, is there anything camping on that side of the hill? Um, maybe if the lights are pushed a little further up, uh, it's a bit more risky though, and you can't really spot what's, I mean, maybe you don't want to spot what's behind you, but, but yeah, this, this was quite a good game, once they sort of found that they had the overmatches here, they had the high ground here, they really took advantage of it, and overall this was a pretty nice replay. Thank you very much for sending me this replay, hopefully you did enjoy it, if you did, please consider liking and subscribing, I really do appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you next time, goodbye.